President Joe Biden has reduced the prison sentence of a former Tallahassee man who was convicted of non-violent cocaine distribution. The decision is part of Biden's commitment to prioritize redemption and rehabilitation for individuals serving excessively long sentences for drug offenses. Isaiah J. Tucker, also known as Skubu, was sentenced to 20 years in 2013 for charges related to the distribution and possession of cocaine and cocaine base. However, he will now be released from a minimum security facility in Yazoo City, Mississippi, by February 20, 2024. Following his release, Tucker will still be required to serve 10 years of supervised release, during which he will report to a probation officer. Tucker is one of 11 individuals whose sentences have been commuted by President Biden. Another Floridian, Leroy Lyman's of Pensacola, has also had his sentence reduced. In a letter sent to the court last month, Tucker expressed his hope for compassionate release. He acknowledged that if he were sentenced today, his punishment would likely be less severe. Tucker has spent over 11 years in prison, demonstrating good behavior and a low risk of reoffending. He has also completed various educational courses and taken responsibility for his actions. Tucker's arrest in 2012 came after several cooperating defendants identified him as their supplier of cocaine powder and crack cocaine. During a search of a residence he was seen leaving, law enforcement discovered significant quantities of both substances. In total, Tucker was found to have been involved in the distribution of approximately 23 pounds of powder cocaine and nearly 10 pounds of crack cocaine. The decision to reduce Tucker's sentence reflects President Biden's commitment to reforming the criminal justice system and addressing the disproportionate punishments imposed on individuals convicted of non-violent drug offenses. By prioritizing redemption and rehabilitation, the president aims to create a fairer and more just system.